Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rings of Power. I am your host, Monkey, and this is my co-host, Kiwi. Yeah, we finally made it to episode 3! Yeah, I don't know why I'm waving when it's not like you can see me, but... I mean, technically I it's a wave, you just don't have yeah. arms. <laughs> True. Yeah, you... Uh. <sighs> so, up to this point, I'll be honest, nothing's happened. Hey, we got introduced <laughs> yeah, to <laughs> we got introduced to the there's an orc orcs are rising up in the south lads which uh, spoilers uh, they they succeed like the south lads become mordor we we it is known i have a map of middle earth that we it is known i am sorry <sighs> but maybe maybe things will begin here maybe we'll actually get to see some nice orcs from uh, the sauron era because, yeah, there are different varieties of orcs, believe it or yeah. not. God, but you remember in the in the movies, like, the famous line, I meet back on the menu, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, Saruman's orcs. Killing and eating Sauron's orcs. Because, believe it or not, Saruman was a contender for Sauron's position in the forces of evil. Oh. Let's go to show just how powerful Saruman was. I mean, yeah. he was a wizard, and they are, like, effectively angels. Effectively. Yeah. God, that's good. But yes, without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Yes. Yes. It's dead, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry! Oh, the face! Where is it yeah, the face is so <laughs> Uh, not, no shade towards the actor, uh, uh, but God damn it, that is funny. Are you sure he wasn't just showing you Mordor? That you remember that um, that, theory, that theory we had about this um, all being set at the same time. My people have no king. I get the feeling that maybe it's not. Maybe certain people are like. Sent different times. There's a lot of inconsistencies are happening. It's bothering me. Taking a last look. Look at him. He's so much happy he gets yeah. The men who live here have not. The blood of God, I love that man's face. Still darkens their veins. Someone dug this passage. Something. And you men did not very do. silly going alone. Literally Sorry. alone. Honestly, I do. <sighs> the the actor just needs to be more expressive. Uh, th yeah. That actor. Because granted, he's handsome. He's got yeah. that going for it. Yes, yes. He just needs a bit more acting experience, and I think he'll be like, I feel perfect. like that goes for so many of them here. <laughs> it does. Because we've been saying they just lack oomph and like, yeah, there's not actual... much. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I fucking love Durin. Durin's yeah. my G. I love oh, him. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but, 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 yeah, but nothing. And, it's uh, fucking Durin. And and Elliot, the guy who named <laughs> Elliot because he looks like an Elliot, because we actually know his name. Hey, he at least had some vitriol in his voice. Yeah, no, exactly. Like he actually does act what he's ex like, what he yeah, is. If they, that makes sense. They, they got a young actor, which was inexperienced, to pay, play somebody who was young and inexperienced. Like, yeah, good job. You cast him pretty good there. Yeah. Uh, nah, good job. Like, it definitely does look like a little kid. Speaking up to somebody for the first time. Mm. I, I get you. Yeah. However, the other ones are not little kids. Yeah. <laughs> I did like this shot, though. Real question is, why the hell would they not kill him? They are orky borkies. They need to eat, Kiwi. They... Food. Food is important. Because he has plot armor and he's handsome. Uh... Yeah, you make a good boy. The intro is 
is always going to be like, pretty yeah. nice. Again, I was going to say, again, this is really nice. Yeah. Like, in terms of who Sauron is, I, I don't know. I would respect the show if they, um, if they made it into a multiple timeline thing. Yeah. And so all of the red herrings we've been getting up to this point are actually Sauron. Yeah. Because it, it will go to shows like how sneaky and like, uh, deceptive he was. Like, he's been doing this a lot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, impressive. And what the hell is all this? It's the Orky Borkies. What? Huh? Huh? Wait, where are they? What the f- Hang on, I need to get a better, better shot of these orcs. So, something is off about them, right? Okay, you got your orc slaves, uh, What? Get to it! Okay, maybe it was just the trick of the light. We'll see if we can get a good look. No stain sun to your feathers, cowl it, and I'll shoot it. For Adar, but not for you! For Adar. I'm hoping I'm just seeing things. Oh, your hair be. is very messy. Yeah. Got something. Okay, so <laughs> at least they kept that about the orcs. They hate sunlight, and by hate sunlight, I mean it'll kill them. Oh, okay. Because they are creatures of darkness. Like the sunlight is anathema to them, which is why they generally generally stay underground, and it's also why Saruman's Urukai, his his version of the orcs, was so. Like, formidable, because it was the fer ferocity of your regular orc, dialed up, and in the day. Mm. Uh, this could be a problem now. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get a better look at one of those orcs, because they were looking a bit off to me. Yeah. I so, felt that way even in the, in the last episode. Yeah. She lives. Oh, there's the handsome devil. Hey, it's our Chad. Uh, thank you. Oh, Nothing. Saviors or captives? It's not poison, if that's your concern. <laughs> not for humans. Oh, the, way she... <laughs> <laughs> the way she nabs it from him. Yeah. She's 20. <laughs> oh, God. She's just such a little brat. <laughs> Yeah, literally she is. And, okay, if I look at it from that point, I can almost like the character, but I know deep in my heart that it, this is not what she should be. Yeah. Are these guys elves? I can't tell. You need to look at their ears a little bit. I don't think so, right? Elves don't wear these things. Okay. It's uh, sailing the seas, it's got a bunch of armor on them. They look fairly human. <laughs> Hello. Uh, silence. Like, is anyone gonna talk? Anyone at all? <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, like I'm not even bringing up the uh... one of the elder. 
On board my ship? Yes. Yes. Strange tides indeed. What vessel is this? Be at ease. I'm obliged to deliver you safely to my betters. They will answer your questions, not I. To what port do we sail? See for yourself. Oh, come on. We're nearly there. I'm not going to go nearly anywhere. Where? <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> now they're being vague. Uh, is it so? Is this Numenor? show so much. They make me so annoyed. <laughs> oh, paranoid. I know the feeling. They, it, did, is like, something going no down? Staying, yeah, just like, it's not a dramatic pause, it's just awkward. There is only one place it can be. The land of the stars. The westernmost of all mortal realms. The island kingdom. It is Numenor. Of Numenor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Spoilers, by the way, uh, Numenor doesn't last that long. Oh, no. It, it goes into the sea. Which is really sad, because Numenor was essentially like, what, Atlantis? You have this brilliant city full of, like, Giga Chads and Giga Stacys. Everyone's, um, like, really handsome and strong and beautiful. Do you mind pausing the recording? I just poured water all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sure, yes, so back to Numenor. Welcome back, yes. everybody, We're, uh, after that small, uh, break. <laughs> poor, poor Kiwi and her eyeball. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's fine. You'll, you'll forgive me eventually. Eventually, but yes, back to Numenor. 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 Like, I really do feel bad for the VFX artists. They put in a lot of work. Yeah, it's beautifully done. At least they got everybody with, like, good hair in this place. Well, most people. It's like, how do you know she's an elf? Bro, have you seen her? She's like glowy. These men are not like you. In the Great Wall, your ancestors stood with Morgoth. These men stood with the elves. As a reward, the Valar granted them this island. It has changed much since then. Bitch! Are you... <laughs> are you... Is she... Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> El elves are racist, Kiwi, don't you know? <laughs> I fucking love are that. You... <laughs> Is she trying to fly? Is she trying to start something with yeah, her because, only because friend like, here in this? She's like, oh, by the way, these humans, they sided with the elves, and that's why they got, like, a beautiful kingdom. Meanwhile, and, like, you, you sided guys didn't with Morgoth, get anything. Which is why yeah, you're in a fucking why... raft in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, and that's why you're in ranks. <laughs> oh, God. Like, this is literally <laughs> what just. What kind of mean girls type shit is this? <laughs> I don't think the writers meant it to come across that way. They meant it to be like some exposition in case you didn't get it. Like, oh, the people from the Southlands, they sided with Morgoth, with evil. But let me make sure you <laughs> make, let me make sure you understand. Yeah, but like they could have done it in a better way. They they like, even, they did it in episode one in a much blander way. Yeah, and it was fine. Yeah. But I guess like, she needed to explain, it's like, oh, why are these humans better than the other humans? Yeah, yeah. Like, he could have asked someone when, like, maybe they bump into the higher-ups at some point. I'm assuming they're going to go to the higher-ups right now. Most likely. She is and a Then elf. he could have asked them, like, how come you guys got it good? 
And then he or she could have answered, but her saying it like that, it's like, oh, by the way, it's time for me to flex on you, even though we just went through trauma together out in the sea because I couldn't I, make I a decision. I swear to God, if it's a queen. <sighs> well, let's the see. The kings of men, Kiwi. The kings of men! Oh, is that what it's called here? No, as in, like, that was the, the kingdom of the humans, that you had the dwarves, the elves, and the kings of men. Okay. It did not mention queens anywhere. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> not envy. It's sorrow. Huh? Once elves she... came and went freely from these shores. Our people were as kin, sharing gifts, knowledge. What happened? Numenor began to turn away our ships. In time, they broke off all contact. Why? We may be about to find out. Keep moving. Oh yeah, so Sauron oh, effectively turned here. Numenor into a bunch of human supremacists. Okay. Yeah. Which is why their uh, relationship with the elves went um, bye bye. I see. So they weren't grateful to the elves at some point. Yeah, they yeah, because they were yeah. allies. They fought on the same yeah. side against the uh, yeah. Morgoth. Yeah. They even have like a special little tree. Because mm. elves love giving you garden. Mm. Patience, patience. We are men and women of Numenor. I suggest we set history aside for the moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Try not to antagonize these people. Yeah, something you're too good at, Gabriel. <laughs> Thank you. This guy is such a chad. I know. He's saying it to us, right? Yeah, he is. And you know what? I so, honestly, like, he's the writers better are self-aware, surely. <laughs> they surely must you're self-aware. They must If you be. wrote him to say that to her, you're sh you're self-aware that you made her a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, they must be at least a little bit aware. Like, okay. Maybe Galadriel... <laughs> Kiwi. <laughs> did they try to make Galadriel a fucking girl boss? Mm -hmm. Did did they did, did they do that? Was that their idea of that was their idea of a fucking strong that was woman? Their idea. We saw that in episode Goddamn too. Just like yeah, she can chop off an orc's head. Oh, maybe this is part of the 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 stick that we've seen again and again. So now this is like what the third guy that's telling her <laughs> that's telling you need her. to that's telling her no you need to like shut up and like For keep once? your voice down where you belong <laughs> woman where you belong female <laughs> me look at me me alpha male chad now shut up this is a bad situation to talk he's literally making good points but I they're mean, seeing you're, you're it saying as nothing oh, wrong here <laughs> yeah he's literally saying nothing wrong but they're probably seeing it as like oh look another man Taking her down, pulling her away from the thing that she wants to do. Let her be a bitch. Let her say the things she wants to say in this very tense situation that's very political. And you probably shouldn't just say what you want to say. <sighs> hmm. I, I'm. I have a feeling. I have I'm a feeling. trying not to bitch about the fact that Galadriel's meant to be a diplomat, a very skilled <laughs> one. Like, it's her yeah. thing. Like, even among yeah. elves, she's the fucking diplomat. She knows how to talk. Yeah. And get what she wants. But not this Galatio. This Galatio is what, like, scarred by the sins of the past or whatever. You say, like, <laughs> really? Uh huh. You know, she's a sorceress, right? She has magic that, you know, charms people, but okay. Oh, okay. She, she's now fucking a Rambo. Captain, no, it's just Regent funny that they're self aware, not oh, at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, they're self-aware, yet they keep stepping into the rake. As is Chancellor Funazon. Wait, which is weird, because... Okay, I'm assuming, assuming the writers are all on the same page. They made Galadriel this brat, mm -hmm. and they made everyone else around her speak sense. Yes. But the problem is they make... They also frame it so that, look, everyone's just yeah, holding her back. Yeah, and like, she's they, they, the one in the right somehow. Yeah, like they make everyone around her say really good points. Like, yeah. yeah, you have been scarred by battle by the darkness. Go back to Valinor and heal. I yeah. will. I I, I will happy. take care of this in your stead. 
And yeah. like again, she's Chad and <laughs> she's proven right in the end, which again is. I don't care if she's right. I care how she goes about being right. She comes off like a lunatic. Yeah, she does. And again, like I don't care if you're right. If you're meant to be this regal character, you don't get to sound like a lunatic. I mean, it's the same thing they did with the mom, the single mom. Yeah. She's like, there's orcs. That, you know, they got attacked in the village. And again, it wouldn't make sense for them not you to believe that. wouldn't? Like, yeah, yeah, elves are here to look out for orc stuff. This woman's saying we have some orc stuff. And it's not exactly shown that she's been a liar. Mm. I, exactly. I, I, can't, I, I don't see it. Maybe the fraternization with the elves. Maybe. Oh, you, you were part of that interracial relation, uh, not inter interspecies relationship, you freak. Yeah, but they didn't even bring that up to her. They didn't, no. So then it wouldn't, so her, them doubting her as a tight-knit community just didn't make sense. It doesn't. Like, maybe it's like the writers trying to be subtle about it, like, see, they were right all along. See, it, the girl boss bossing, and it's, it's all these men... That are saying stupid things, and they should just believe her. I, I think maybe the writers <laughs> are just putting words like, okay, you remember when Red Skull basically was written to have a bunch of Jordan Peterson quotes? I like, out of oh. fucking nowhere. Okay. And people were like, you know, Red Skull ain't so bad now. They yeah. wonder what happened. And yeah. the the writers and Marvel were like, wait, wait this ain't right. <laughs> You're supposed to like, hate hate the uh, the person who said the lies because it's coming out of Red Skull's mouth. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. He's speaking a lot of sense. Like, clean yeah. your room, take some responsibility for yourself. I'm liking yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's what's happening in this show. They're putting in the mouths of everyone around the girl boss character things yeah. that have been like reasonable points. Yes. That. In context of these characters, and given what they know, make perfect sense, are completely yeah. reasonable. But they yeah. have, like, the subtext of, but they're wrong, though. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's just so annoying. But let's just see how this goes. She's not going to shut her mouth, I bet I you. Just, uh... Ten pounds. They're like, oh no, an elf. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did... uh, why are you bringing the knife here? here? Alternatively, there could be a small hint at Galadriel's true nature, because, again, she is a fucking beauty in The Lord of the Rings. Like, yes. Was it... Was it Gimli, I think? Yeah, Gimli. When, um, when he was asked what reward he wanted, he said he only wanted to look upon Galadriel one last time, Aww. because her beauty was the fairest in all the land. Oh, and, well, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, my dwarf bro ain't lying. <laughs> they, yeah. Jesus. It is like looking at an angel. Yeah. And maybe this is a hint to that happening now. It's like, may, maybe it could also be like him looking at her in disgust. Maybe. I'm hoping not. I'm, I'm nervous hoping how this is gonna go. <laughs> I'm just hoping it's like a hint to her, like, ethereal nature. It's like, okay, yeah, this guy may not know what's going on, but he sees a pretty lady. And, mm. you, you know, when you're just in awe of something. Yes. Yeah, yes. that. I'm mm. hoping it's that. It better be yeah. that, writers. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm sorry, just the, the hair on that guy. Yeah, the hair. Molka. Oh, uh, is that a queen? No, like the dude with the no big beard. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Speak, elf. Name thyself. Now remember to be composed, Galadriel. Be Galadriel nice. Galadriel of the Noldor. Daughter of the Golden House of Finarfin. Commander of the Northern Armies of High King Gilgalad. Okay, you see those daggers you're staring at her? I'm gonna need you to tone that down. Uh, Alright? He just told her to chill, and she can't even say her name and where she's from without 
is spitting a bunch of deck. <laughs> it's like oh there is just venom in her voice. Yeah, and also, don't you think it just looks? I'm I'm cringing for her because she's like saying all this shit, and it's just like yeah, and we found you out at sea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, have daughter some, of the have blah, some blah. humility. Have some humility. Yeah. I, I get like these people saved your ass. Exactly. Uh, the elves people know saved that, you. Like, okay, they saved you. You you are indebted to them a little bit. Uh, mm. Some politeness is warranted. That's fine. Yes. You're an elf it doesn't fucking matter. They'll be dead in a century. So. Yeah. Oh my god. Why does she have to be so rude? Even he's like, Halbrat. the fuck? Halbrat? Of the Southland. You're Halbrat? A man and an elf, together. Circumstances arose. We are companions by chance. <laughs> She's so mean. Death. All we ask is that Numenor continue his mercy and grant us ship's passage to Middle Earth. Yep. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel so bad for our Chad here. He's Poor like, oh, the fuck? He's like, I told you to shut up. What does she could... do? She fucking spits venom at the highest authority in the room and then demands a fucking ship I know. to Middle Earth. Oh, not even a, you know. Hey, this would really help us out. If not, it's okay. Uh, you know, no, we we're just trying to get there. Is is there the best? Can you show us the best route? Uh, like something? we humbly request the generosity yeah. of Numenor to yes. s to guarantee safe passage towards Middle yes. Earth. Yes, yes, exactly. Just that. How do? Just how that. am I more of a diplomat here? <laughs> Ki Kiwi knows how chaotic I am. I was about to say, and that came out beautifully, and you're such a chaotic man. Like, you would not say that. Well, even you would know what to say. Like, you know what to say here. Like, it's a situation of thing. And again, look at his face. He just wants to smack around the back of the... Oh, God. I would. I would at this I, rate. I'm just going to turn Puggles off for a second. You see this face? <laughs> this is the face of a man who's just got fucked in the ass by the woman he just met. <laughs> Lord have mercy on I his soul. She's like, oh, companions by chance. And again, why does she keep. She's so rude. And she's, she's not even grateful she, that she, she got saved. She talked over him. Yeah. He was explaining yeah, again. He was like, we are, so, we are so, uh, companions by chance. He's just like, yeah. Like, and again, like, just leave him to the talking since you can't do it, Galatriel. <laughs> yeah, leave okay. Halbrand to do the talking. He's a good guy. Okay. Yeah, and again, she did not sound like grateful. She was like, "Oh yeah, and your men, uh, they they happened to find us uh, out at sea." Yeah. And it's just like, thank "No, you very no, much. thank." You. Like, much like what? That's that's what. We... <sighs> what? Again, there's no like grace in how she speaks. She's just a brat. Really, yeah, such a brat. Like, how could she demand it? Like again, it doesn't make sense. Your situation, you you're at the mercy of these lot, mate. Yeah. It's not the other way around. Like you are fucked if these people don't help you. Yeah, and the way you. the way like the words she's saying are all right. It's just how she's saying it is so fucking bad. Yeah, it's really bad, really bad. I I heard rumors they were gonna try and replace the actress mm. for Galadriel, and honest to God, I see it. I fucking yeah. see it. Like, if you're gonna make yeah. Galadriel a main character, you have this actress. Yeah, you need to. What the fuck it did up. you do to her in the exposure therapy to make her like this? What the fuck happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, did you strap her in a chair and make her watch the goddamn Holodomor in fucking <laughs> high death? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh... What was this exposure therapy? I have to know. Yeah. I'm curious. Uh... Uh, this poor dude. Cut him. He's, he's in a very bad spot. He is. Uh, oh. yeah. He is a ship. Since the ship of Numenor was permitted to make such a journey on an elf's behalf. It is because of the elves that you were given this island. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! The arrogance, you, the audacity of this bitch. Us. You just need to shut up. Just please, I am begging you, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, you cannot! What is wrong with you? The 
literally... Hey. How? How can you be a commander and like high ranking if you don't know how to speak in this situation? How does that make sense? Like, literally, like, uh, like hell, li the only times we have had problems with like generals and shit was never when they're talking to like other countries. It's when they're yeah. talking to other generals of the same country because they don't like w when generals go on diplomatic missions. They have a fucking mask they wear, and that's the mm -hmm. mask of a diplomat. They don't yeah. take it off until they get home. Yeah. Because they, they know something is going to go horribly wrong if they speak like they speak normally. Yes, yes. Every fucking general, politician, I... knows this, but not her! Yeah, exactly. And that's what I mean, it doesn't make sense for one of her upbringing and rank to not know what the fuck to say here. Moreover, it doesn't make sense for fucking Galadriel to yeah. not know. Oh, 100%. And she's as what, well. 1,000, 2,000 years old and she's meant yeah. to be a diplomat, like, skilled exactly. at talking? Is that you're telling me it took her this long to learn? Is it? Yeah, and she slowly hasn't you. learned anything. Yeah. And also, mm. I feel so bad for our Chad, dude, because I saw yeah. his reactions and all that he's been saying is literally us two, like the audience, what we're thinking. Yeah, <sighs> like, I helped this. I, I should have let her drown. Yeah. I, Hallbrand, should have let this bitch drown. So like, this is what I get for being a good person. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> That's, this is so cringe. Oh, it's, it's so fair. She gets watch. executed. Uh, she is on her way to getting fucking executed. I don't she care. She has plot armor, dude. She has uh, plot armor. How uh, brand safer? Oh, it is because God, he's of the just... that you were given this island. Surely you can spare a few planks and a rudder. Surely you can. Say... He's just like <laughs> he's just <laughs> woman. <laughs> woman. <laughs> he's just like you are fucking us. He's just. He, that's like the the that's like a Pikachu wow. shock face. Just like oh, what the fuck? You Are see, you gentlemen, this is why you never ever agree to pegging because you cannot trust women with that much power. Because they do yeah. shit like this, they fuck you like, all damn night. Like, he even told her to shut up, dude. Yeah, like, let me don't be, be like that. Like, he even told her not to be like that. She's literally, again, being so rude and, again, demanding and just a little brat. She should have left her. He should have actually told her, look, I'm going to, like, literally tie up your mouth so you can't speak. Because like, you This, this is the fucking helping. problem. This is a problem, too, because yeah. I've, I've had to deal with people like this before. And God, I yeah. hate them. Yeah. With a passion. Because yeah. say you're in a situation like this where you have to be polite and everything. There's yeah, no course. polite way to shut her up yeah. that won't involve her like, snapping back at you and it just devolving. Like, say you shut her up as a, and you speak over her to continue your way. She'll just do it again and get more yeah. and more irritable. So oh, no. the, oh, the best option you have at this point is just to stay quiet and pray. Because you're now at her mercy, and dear no. god, you are fucked if you're at her mercy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh god. I can't imagine speaking to anyone like this, and especially the people that you're saved by us. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah. Freaking It's hell. why, generally speaking, I don't, I don't like playing, like... I like running jokey one-shots. Because mm -hmm. they're fucking one-shots. I, I don't, I don't care. But... Mm. Generally speaking, and then the, you need a DM here that also they understand shit. I don't like playing overly silly games because, well, eh. If mm. I, I I can dick around, but that gets old fast for me. Okay. Fair yeah. Enough. Yeah, but, yeah. I can see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just that when you're playing a game like that in a situation like this, and somebody acts like this, you're like, I don't know this person. Yeah, I I'm not with them. Yeah, and it, it is a it is always a problem because I out of character and above the table. You always gotta try and keep the party together. Mm. Some people do their fucking damnedest to <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, okay. Lord have mercy. But yes, Ugh. let's continue yeah. to watch Let's this continue. man slowly get executed. Yeah. Oh, you know what'll happen? Yeah, cause she's like the queen or whatever. She'll see like Galadriel's spunkiness, and they they they'll like side together later on. 
I'm, I'm willing because you know strong boss women need to stick together in this man's yeah. world in which case where there's a strong independent queen rolling yeah. Numenor uh. but I'm getting ahead of myself our ancestors were not given anything they paid for this isle with the blood of their kin what the elf means then if blood be the price of passage <laughs> oh my god oh, <laughs> it happened no! it happened no! Oh. It happened! Oh. My god, oh. woman! Stop speaking! Just stop speaking! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> this poor dude! Oh my god, I just want to give him a oh. hug! Oh my god! Just like what my, what my friend, like, this is what I mean! You would try to say, like, what my friend mean? means is, <laughs> like, and then she just keeps going, like, with daggers in her eyes! Like, oh my god! Hi. Oh, this is so. Oh. I feel so much pain for my dude. I feel so sad for Halbrand. He does I not deserve really... this. He does not. <laughs> he does not. After all that shit he's been through, definitely not. Oh. I will pay it. What the elf me. Then if blood be the price of passage, I will pay it. Oh God. We'll pay it with whose blood? Yeah, whose blood? Who who, who are you sacrificing? You, who do you have? And who yeah, is this Karl you... Marx looking motherfucker here? <laughs> and why is he getting like, why is he getting a bit of a semi at the so at the thought of like blood being paid? Is, is it? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, but also he he looked like Jack Black for me to me for me. <laughs> It's the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, what is he doing here? <laughs> One way or another, I will depart. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> oh this is so hard. How how much are we into this shit? Oh god! <laughs> Twelve minutes. Okay. Oh my yeah. freaking god, Galadriel! Can you shut the fuck up? Uh, oh, you know, I take god. it back. I don't think the queen is gonna like so, uh, show mercy on her because I know this look. Uh, this is the look <laughs> of like the audacity of this bitch. <laughs> yeah, I need the audacity. Please execute her <laughs> for, for my sake. I can't take this anymore. Welcome to Rings of Power, episode. How uh, was it? The Rings of Power. The audacity <laughs> of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, oh my god, just kill god, me. I'm keeping that. Oh. I'm keep if there's nothing else that tops that title, I'm keeping it. Yeah, no, I'll just keep it because oh. fuck this, dude. What the hell? Uh, I hate. Yo. I have no oh! Of your welcome. And oh. you are quickly wearing out yours. God, yes. my friend. Yes, please don't. It seems to me that our leaving presents some complications. Perhaps it'd be better if we stay, stay long enough, good queen, to give you and your advisors adequate time to weigh our request. A few days, perhaps. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. He is. My oh. God. This man He's is Jesus the... Christ. He, he has... is. He is. He is oh. resurrecting a chance this. for them to live. Yes, uh, literally. I've just because seen the resurrection. Just being a... Yeah. Okay, but for one thing I will say, I respect the queen for having a bite back. Yeah, like, okay. Okay. <laughs> she was not taking shit, and I'm like, thank you. Uh, and secondly, our Chad saved the fucking day right now. My god, I, I love oh him. Oh my god, I, I love, love you him so, so much. much. <laughs> We love these dudes that are like being treated as like, oh look, they're like pulling her back, and it's like, yeah, yeah we love them because they actually make you're sense and they're talking sense. Like... It's just like, oh, God, I swear, if I see interviews of them saying it's like of singing Galadriel's praises, I I would know it's like, okay, your opinion is untrustworthy. Yeah, it will be discarded uh, in the future. Next. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that what yeah. that's for? Yeah, have you seen Galadriel? Yeah. Lord have mercy. Uh. God. But this woman has oh, none. Oh my god. Let's see what they say. Alright, Mr. Marks, tell me what, what's gonna happen. <laughs> Three days, and the elf is to be restricted to Palace Grant. I will not be made a prisoner. I would sooner kneecap a stallion than seek to imprison the mighty commander of the Northern Army. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you just oh. look really stupid. Oh. Don't... <laughs> so, you should be Numenor's guest. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, why are you looking That's at him? He did the f he, he fucking saved your ass. Exactly. 
What did he say? He said my gratitude. Ah, uh, my gratitude. He. Oh. <laughs> He's even making connections here. Yes, he Good is. Queen. The Southlands will still be there in three days. Oh, it's people. Look around you. This is a paradise, ripe with opportunity. You really expect me to leap with you back into the furnace? You leapt into the sea to save one life. I seek to save many. I have been searching for my peace for longer than you know. Please, mm. for both our sakes, let me keep it. But what about my peace? Perhaps some peace could do you good as well. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh, she's offended. She's like, how dare a man tell you that about me? He doesn't understand what the heck I mean. Oh, see? <laughs> At the very least. Do try not to make any new enemies. Yes. Oh. <laughs> exactly. I just love, I love He's Hopper. He's such a chad. What yeah, he even chad. manages to, like... He even managed to calm that unreasonable bitch we call uh, Galadriel. Yeah. yeah. It's some, he's... He she is got her security knife. Literally, he, yeah, exactly. <sighs> oh my god, what a chat. Like, I can't. I, words cannot express how much he just saved this so hard. Like, he literally carried the game this right is, now. <laughs> this is what I mean. I hope that guy is Sauron. Because this is the kind of shit Sauron does. Like, yeah. This is how he ingratiates himself into, um, into the royalty uh, yeah. with everybody. He's great at making friends. He's also handsome, charismatic. Mm. Yeah, and he's, lo uh, and he's evil. Which is mm. why I, want, I really wish this dude Sauron, but I have my doubts. Yeah. It'd oh, be nice. what a guy. I love him. I do too. <laughs> he did so well. Yeah. He really f changed that situation around, man. And again, she just looked stupid because she said, oh, she's a commander of these armies, and they're like, well, ha, you're our prisoner now. Yeah, well, you yeah. look stupid. Like, here's the thing. Even if you're gay, take a prison, you have to maintain that grace about you. Yes, of as course. As an officer. Like, there's a reason yeah. the officer, P POWs, there's a reason the grunts have worse conditions than the officers. Mm. Like, because everyone understands, okay, the officers are like, a class above your average private. Yeah. Yeah. We would be wise to resolve this matter swiftly. She is but one elf. An avalanche can start with one stone. We dare not invite your father's cloud back overhead. Tell me about this captain. His name is Elendil. Originally of a noble line, now a sea guardsman, with a son if memory serves said to follow him into the service. Oh. Oh. <coughs> now it's his little baby boy. Oh. You have to haul the sheep faster than that you want to spot in my guard. Yes, Sildor? Sildor! Any oh. cadet who earns their place in the Sea Guard becomes more than just Numenor's protector. For the one! Oh god, you gotta be careful with these rocks, mate. Oh yeah, they burn. Help, Emperor is, uh, yeah, I think it's Emperor. See, I like the captain. He's like a perfect example of a Numenorean. It's the fucking mm -hmm. Giga Chad. There is no harsher master than the sea. And these are like just like the the beta chads. No, they'll, they'll mm. get to Giga soon. Yes.
Ah, oh, bless. The sea is always right. The sea is always right. Poor Henry Heel. His father is like to toss him out on the stones. Blind luck is Seal's not joining him. Me? Your mind was in the bleeding clouds again all day. What is it? Just eager to get out there. That's all. Nine more days. Nine more days. We passed the sea trial in four years. We'll make office. Ten more, we'll have our own command. Mm, eight more for me. Eighteen, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Your sister's here. <laughs> There you are. Very close. Oh, looking good down the good for once. Oh, he didn't have to come all this way just to see me. Seal, cantina? Nah, you go. Come find us later, all right? Don't uh. be like your brother. Got your whole life to be an old maid. Or to be young. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Where's father? <laughs> okay, we'll just pretend they're related. It's fine. Okay. The faithful believe that when the petals of the white tree fall, it is no idle thing. But the very tears of the Valar themselves, a living reminder that their eyes and their judgment are ever upon us. Do you believe that? In my experience, it is unwise to live one's life guessing after signs and portents. Elendil. An uncommon name. From our western shores, is it not? It originates there. Pray tell, what does it mean? One who loves the stars. That is not its only translation, is it? In the ancient tongue of the Eldar, it can also mean elf friend. Then are you an elf friend? Just I'm a loyal you. servant of Numenor. And yet, though elves have been unwelcome on our shores since the reign of my grandfather's great-grandfather, you chose to break with that precedent. Why? It was the sea who put her in my path. And the sea is always right. The sea cannot commit treason. Well, is he in trouble for bringing her? No. With respect, Queen Regent. Given the circumstances, I did only what I believed to be most prudent. If, Helendil, oh, that is truly your wish, then I shall have to ask you to perform a service. Oh god, is she gonna be crazy too? No, no. Or is she just using this as blackmail or something? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Why are the women so crazy? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Why do they write women so crazy? I don't know. You, you, Maybe they the do women in Hollywood are women crazy. Are sane. <laughs> like, this are is, women yeah, like, this is my running theory about, about like why all actors in Hollywood are complaining about like pedophiles and sex pests. It's probably because that place is full of them. I, hmm. I have not stumbled across one in my entire life. Yeah, in Damn. my in my real life, and I'm like, ah, eh, this is kind of weird that you guys. Have this in your lives for so long. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this is how this is how women are in Hollywood. It's yeah. just they just listen to them. It's the simplest solution to everything. Yeah, but why are they always writing the women like this? Yeah, because the the women in Hollywood are like this. Or more accurately, that's what they want to be. It's like with yeah, She Hulk. Not... Like She Hulk was a, a power fantasy for those women. Yeah. Not women in general, just those women. Yeah, I see. Meanwhile, I can power fantasy for women. Huh? What would that be like? I guess. Oh, I don't know. Galadriel in the ring in the Lord of the Rings movies. 
Yeah. But yes, I want to have men at my beck and call, in awe of my beauty. So, yeah. That's pretty good. <sighs> it makes me so sad. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> yeah, I know, Kiwi. But like, he's... I only like the male characters <clears throat> in this. You know, that's, you know why? Because this show was written by secret... Internalized misogynists. That's what this show was written by. They they yeah, want like, you to like the men, so they're written as like you know, sane people. Yeah, yeah. But all like the women are like cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> That's clearly cuckoo what's going on. <laughs> yeah, because me. I'm just. What the hell is going? On? Why? Yeah, why? Why are you guys going to be so crazy? <laughs> they're unreasonable. That's the thing that gets yeah. to me. It's like it doesn't make sense. Then why must you be this? Mean and it's... stupid. Yeah. Read the room, woman. Read the room. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over that. I, I'll be with you ever since. Like, <clears throat> uh, what was it Game of Thrones? A a anytime I just see a woman in power with like those crazy eyes, I just think Daenerys. Like, <laughs> ah, shit. Here we go again. Here we go again. It's there fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Well, at least she's using her authority and blackmailing somebody yeah. to probably kill Galadriel. Like, okay, the mm. Numenorians hate her. Hate hells. Now, probably because of Sauron. Probably. Mm. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, let's go. Actually, wait, wait. If Sauron hasn't come back yet... Then... Yeah, if, he, if Sauron's not back yet, then they should still be on good terms with you. Yeah, never fucking mind. Moving on. Uh, I don't know. Oh, the Southlands. Now I can finally see what's going on with those orcs. It's been bothering me. Yeah. Oh. So that's why they didn't kill him. They uh, they needed slave labor. Mm. What? What? What the fuck? What? Um. What? <laughs> why does? Why does is he? I. Okay. He's in the sunlight. He's all right in the sunlight. I. One bit. One minute. I, I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> ah. Oh. The... Why? <laughs> why? God, I, have, I have conflicting Dude, thoughts. Knew... They're both trying to get out, and they can't. I I knew I knew this was gonna be a long episode, but I did. I I I had a feeling this was gonna be a bad one to get through, and it's gonna take us ages. But my God, we're only what twenty one minutes in. Dude. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm oh fuck. Just tap back in. Okay. I just, I, it's okay. I need. I just need it's to. Okay. Pay, I, okay. One, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Yeah. Just. It's okay. What, what am Take I looking at? I'm looking at it. Or yes, an orc in the sunlight. Okay, that doesn't make sense. That hell. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's why they had those like little covers over the whatever the thing as like a roof for the sunlight. So even in the context of the show, maybe the orcs aren't supposed to be in the sun because they'll still burn alive. Yeah. Why but does maybe... the thing he's wearing look like, you know, like when you take off skin of a raw chicken? Yes. Yeah, I'm, like I'm, 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 I'm gonna get into that. I'm getting to yeah, that. That's fine. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. Yes. Why is an orc yes. a creature of evil? Yes. Of darkness? Mm hmm. A in the sun? Mm hmm. And B, white? <laughs> Because the white man what? monkey. Why? The white he's, man. He's wearing white as well. <laughs> like his skin is white. His clothes are white. <laughs> white is a color of good. It is the color of angels. Like, yeah. There's a reason Gandalf the Grey turned into Gandalf the White after he died. Because it was meant to show that he was like, I don't know, talk with God or whatever. And like, became an angel or something. Yes. White the color. Orcs do not like. They, they hate the sun; it will kill them. They do not like the color white, because yeah. it is an anathema. To, it is literally the opposite of them. It is a, is yeah. it is 
intrinsically good the mm -hmm. color of white. That's why, mm -hmm. like, Sauruman was, um, all, uh, wore white in the original, because he was originally, like, the strongest and wisest of the wizards. Mm. Or maybe just the wisest, yeah, wisest. And that's why he had white, to show that he was the most wise. And, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and this, this is, uh, okay, so, s simple, <laughs> to make it simple. Yes. If I can just collect my thoughts. It's okay. It's is, okay. Lord of the Rings is not some morally ambiguous universe. It is, there is good and there is evil. Yes. There's no ambiguity here. There's, and yeah, creatures of good and creatures of evil. And there are things associated with both, of good and of evil. Good yes. is like pure, it's, again, you get the color white for it. It's, again, it is associated with good. Mm. It is anathema to everything evil. The orcs are evil. The orcs mm. hate the color white. They mm. hate it. It's why that albino orc in the um, the Hobbit movies made no fucking sense whatsoever. I mean, I yeah, guess it yeah. didn't make sense that he lost so many pieces of himself. So, yeah, yeah, yeah an albino orc, yeah, that fucker would get killed immediately. <laughs> Like, for, for, con for context, like, how do I put this in, into terms you can understand? Like, it's okay. Imagine you're wearing a very itchy sweater. Yeah. But make that feeling worse. Yes. That is what it's like for an orc to wear the color white. Yeah. They... No, I get what you mean. Like, it literally doesn't make sense for them. Yeah. And again, it just wouldn't. It also help doesn't them. make sense for them to have the skin color white. Yeah. Because again, it's a, it's something associated with good, and the orcs are evil. It's why Saruman's orcs were mm. better than Sauron's, and mm. uh, because of that, they were darker. They were closer to evil. To Morgoth. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and because of that, they, um, because of their, again, because they were closer to evil, so much so they could tolerate standing in the sunlight, the, the Urukai. Yeah. Why are these orcs white? <laughs> Who knows, dude? I, it, green. He looks like he's yellow, gonna ask brown. him, hey, good morning, what's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow, even like, yeah, not white. White, yeah, you don't see a white orc. Oh god! And again, like the skin cover, it, this isn't gonna be. His ears are poking out. They're gonna get burnt off from the sun. Yeah. <laughs> there is so much wrong with this. Yeah, and again, like the thing that he's wearing. Horrible. I mean, it bothered me, yes, because it's white as yeah. well. But where it really they... looks like chicken skin, yeah. like where raw did they chicken get skin. Because okay, orcs have these big wargs that they kill and use for like clothes and shit. Yeah. Where do you get an albino? <laughs> you had to go and find an albino, whatever the fuck that was, kill it, <laughs> and then make it into a coat. That... <laughs> Where did you even hunt for this? Like, how? how? I'm really letting you have your moment because I was really pissed at Galadriel earlier. So. This makes absolute like, where did you even get the material for yeah. this? Where did you find fucking albino creatures to kill and skin in fuck in the fucking Southlands? Like, the Southlands were supposed to be like that. They're what turned into uh, Mordor. Yeah. It's just, are, are you fucking shitting me? I, I don't. Yeah. I... Uh, I'm so sorry, monkey. So sorry. I promised myself I would not be bitching about the lore inconsistencies. And to be fair, I tried my best with yes, Galadriel. You yes, you did. I was not expecting this. Yeah. <laughs> oh fucking! Just, just we got we got fucking black elves and we got white orcs. Just uh, 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 let's, let's keep. Let's try to keep. <laughs> it's gonna be a, such a long episode. It's like they're episode. trying to offend me, and they'll succeed. Okay, so yeah. right now, 
I would understand this man having short hair. Yeah. Because well, yeah. the orcs don't give a shit. Like, your long yeah. elf hair gets in the way. We're just going to cut that for you. <laughs> oh, we got to better your scalp. Oh, that's too bad, laddie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Uh. Bro, why were you out there in the first place? Exactly. There's more of them. Th there's m more. Uh. I was- I thought that was just gonna be the one weird albino orc. Why yeah. are there more? Why are all of them white? Just reach all the way to Horde. Possibly beyond. This must be how they escaped our detection. And how they shield themselves from sunlight. They're searching for something. Some sort of weapon, perhaps. I do not know. But they ransack village after village, toiling nightly to find it for their leader. Oh, that was his commander. I was like, oh, we get to go home. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> oh guess we got God. Orky Borkies to deal with. It's just like, yeah, we're in a great situation. Uh, Ugh, great. Oh, God. How did they get captured? Weren't they a fucking garrison? Yeah, that's what I mean. Wait, how did they get? How did the fucking elves get taken by surprise and captured? How? Like, I understand our silly handsome boy, because he was stupid and he went by himself, but these lot, surely they were together. Uh... How did they manage? Like, I got no idea. Maybe... Unless all of them suddenly, of course, all of them have like a weird interracial relationship and happen to find a separate village and then happen to get caught by themselves. Like, I it doesn't make sense. Fucking no. Like, what a stretch. <laughs> the last 10 seconds has given me such a headache. It's okay. near worship, even reverence, if folks were capable of such a thing. It seems Morgoth has a successor. Arthur. Why would orcs refer to the leader by an elvish word? Sauron was said to have many names in days of old. Perhaps this is one of them. There's more at work here than we can yet see. First opportunity either of you has to get a glimpse above this trench, you take it. Locate the closest tree line, and when the sun is at its strongest, we will make our escape. If even one of us makes it home, we can return in force and sweep the enemy from these lands like salt from a table. Honestly, it's a pretty good plan. Yeah. I mean, the That's writers cool. seem to not understand fucking Orse. Okay. They, if they're not in shade, they're dead. No ifs, yeah. no buts, they are dead. Yeah. Which makes They've just whole... made it, oh, <clears throat> it's an inconvenience for them. Yeah, like, this whole trench thing, good idea. It would work for Oryx. It would be incredibly uncomfortable. But yeah. they could do it. Problem is, how are you going to keep the slaves in line? Because all they really need to do is just climb the trench and then run. Like, what yeah. are you going to do, chase them? It's daytime. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah they're, they're gonna fucking run and they're not gonna stop. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Fucking Christ above. On those nips and dig. Ow. These roots block our path. Then rip them out. Rip the whole stinking tree down. Felling a tree will slow our progress. We shall go around. Try it, Elf. And I will make a mess of your back. <laughs> Why are they all white? Oh, this tree sprang from the earth long before you crawled from whatever wretched place you grew. <laughs> it has earned its place in these lands. Wow. <laughs> good elf. <laughs> Very good. Just drag you him into the sun. Right. You've just earned your- Wait, he is in the sunshine! <laughs> yeah. Company. A water ration. Don't be afraid. Surely you thirst. Well, sir. <laughs> I don't... I wouldn't trust it.
This is way too tense. <laughs> yeah? I don't like it. Again, you're in the sunlight. You should be safe, but you. I... I feel like this is some weird trick. No! Oh, crap. Oh, they got him. Oh, shit. They got him. I'll be honest with you, I did not see this guy enough to for me to care. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, he, he's fine. It really, that's not that much blood, especially if you were going yeah. for the neck. Like, come on, he's really yeah. fine. Yeah, plus, like, the, the cut didn't look deep when it he cut he's him. He's fine, man. He's fine. He's not dead. Come on. Yeah, yeah really? like, if you make him, like, if I you know cut that if, there, you, if it... you do cut, you can like if you kind of like squish your neck and your shoulder together, your yeah. head and your shoulder together. It that does helps. kind of help, yeah, because it's pressure on the wound, and also yeah, yeah. that wasn't a lot of blood. Yeah, and also they could tie, like they could use his rags. Yeah. Like he'll be fine. <laughs> like, yeah. he... like come on, uh, riders, riders, could... <sighs> for fuck's sake, is he <laughs> <Just nothing? laughs> stabbed him in the gut? <laughs> I will cut it down. <sighs> that, that was a nice little orky thing to do because they are mischievous, untrustworthy, yeah. cunning bastards, yeah, sure. all of them, without exception. I, and that was it. Oh yeah, it was because uh, they were corrupted elves essentially a long, long time <laughs> ago. Mm -hmm. and that's how the orcs came into being. Like their whole existence is violence. Mm. They have no redeeming qualities, nothing at all. So Shouldn't the elves know this? They should, yeah. But also, um, in that situation, where what you gotta do, you're a slave, you're at mm. the mercy of the, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Still, this is why they're not fucking white! Ah, <laughs> uh, lord, give me strength. The show is taking all of mine. <laughs> yes, cut the tree down, mister. He's trying to look sad here. He's trying, but god damn it. He's got a model face. That's the problem. He has a model yeah. face. He doesn't have an expressive face. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, the thing uh, broke. Yeah, it's broken. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Calm down, you. See, this is why I have... That one. This is why we have editing. Indeed. So that's like 25. Yeah, okay, 25. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that sigh was just like, it's just. It <laughs> does not convey sadness to me, it just conveys like. inconvenience. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing! <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, my dude, but you're just not that good an actor. Like, this is your buddy, okay? I mean, this is, I haven't seen that he's your buddy. You've had, like, what? Mm -hmm. One conversation with the guy. And I'll be honest with you, I, 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 don't, I don't fucking see it. Exactly. He's I will cut it down! Right, they ran out of money, Kiwi. They didn't get enough, like, uh, blood for the squirting. Run! Run, you fool! Again, they're all in the light. If you go back there for yeah. a minute, all the orcs are in the light. What? Yeah. 
Literally, what like. The so they could have just it wasn't, cut him. It wasn't even a trick of the camera. Like, hell, yeah. if you look at here, like, right yeah, at the side, that's there. out of view of. Uh, you got orky borkies in the light. Yeah, all of them. Like, seriously, your slate. Just run? What are they gonna do? They already established they need you to dig the trench. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they because they can't chase you. So what are they gonna do? Fire arrows at you? It's like they they're inside a trench and they can't get out of the trench, or they'll burn to death. They're not gonna. Ch they can't chase you, and you're fucking elves. You can run. Oh, is that? Yeah, they can oh wait, there's way. a there's a chain. That's that's why they have a fucking chain on them. Mm -hmm. But again, you're fucking elves. Just just take your digging tools and whack the chain. Yeah. You're strong as fuck. It'll break. Trust me. Like, it's an orcish made chain, too. Like, it's not even built to hold in their beasts. It's, it's literally just meant for slaves. Now, who are they gonna enslave? Like, humans. Now, humans aren't that strong compared to elves. Exactly. You will inform Tharazom that she's escaped. I informed him last time. That was a dog. Oh, is she fucking causing trouble again? Yeah. How did the people not notice her? Uh, convenience. Um, and also, <laughs> are you... Yeah. I love how she always does it. She's like, I'm just gonna cover my ears and yeah, then have people won't know. So never mind that you are literally glowing with beauty. Like, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Just, say, oh, just okay. like that. I just look like the human. See? Yeah, it's fine, right? It's not fine. It's not okay. right. Ah, uh, did I? Hang on. That's ah, fine. Yeah, that's fine, at least. She's like, oh, I'm gonna steal that boat. Why is it to steal the half sail? That skip will hardly get you out of the harbour. I assure you it's an improvement on my prior mode of passage. <laughs> Still, can't let you take it. I'm afraid the Queen has charged me with seeing to it that you cause no further disturbance. I believe she saw it as a punishment. Then she and I have something in common after all. We both wish you'd never brought me here. I will take my chances on the skiff. That would leave me little choice but to shout for your minders. Suppose the words never managed to escape your throat. Really? Supposing they did. You'd be back at the palace in chains, even further from your destination. Who is this mortal? Who speaks to me as if he has the slightest idea who I am. Oh my god. You're so fucking cringe. Just shut the fuck up. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but... I the just the uh, sheer amount of cringe is oozing out of her every time she opens her mouth. Every time. <laughs> and I can't take it anymore. You <laughs> can't I'm, keep getting away with it. <laughs> it's a crime. I'm losing I'm having so much secondhand embarrassment for this bitch. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I can't help it. The writing for her is so bad. Just... Exactly. Oh, it's awful. Like, he's really sticking his neck out for you, and you're being such a bitch. Oh my god. I, I just. I just remind you <sighs> the people that. Yeah, as you said, he's being so accommodating to her bullshit. Mm -hmm. And she's just pushing it constantly. Like, for mm -hmm. fuck's sake! Oh, God. Literally, literally she has... And, and again, this is what bothers me. She's not Galadriel. She's not fucking Galadriel. You could have used a random elf. And literally, the only reason they used Galadriel here was for, like, raid ne ra name recognition. Like, I remember V coining the term fan baiting. Yeah. And it fits. It fucking fits. Like, the whole idea is you take something the fans like, you use that yeah. to advertise the show, and you do it in such a way that it pisses them off so that they're, they're like, hate talking about it. You get negative yeah. publicity, which yeah. is good publicity, I suppose. But yeah, like, that's the whole idea. Which is why mm. they, like, pissed on so much of the Lord of the Rings lore. 
Intentionally mm. so. That you, you, people can say, oh, it's for diversity that we have all of these race swaps. It's like, okay. The orcs. Why are they white? Exactly. That, well, 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 uh, well, uh, you, you, no, I got nothing. So you damn fucking right, you got nothing. <laughs> like, none of this makes sense. This isn't Lord of the Rings. No, there is no room for anything new in Lord of the Rings. I just, like, literally, the excuse I, we think Amazon has for making Galadriel like this was in the Silmarillion, which is the only thing they have the rights to. It's not mentioned that she didn't do this. Mm. Like, that she's not mentioned at all in this space of time, so she could have done anything. Anything mm. at all. That doesn't mean she did. Yeah, you exactly. Fucking bastards, all of you. <sighs> Seriously, just, ha- just, just get me on the cast. I'll bring a whip. It'll solve all the problems. <laughs> Just say, like, oh, isn't that gonna be a bit mean? Hilariously so. I have yeah. a lot of rage inside me now. Exactly. Oh my god. Sorry, uh, continue. Uh, She's just being cringe. Just say, I'll find the writers for Gladwell and say, no. This is not how you write even a strong woman, you absolute morons. Exactly. Like, hell. The reason Lady Dimitrescu worked was because she, A, was a strong woman. Physically, but also she was a lady and she yes. knew like what powers she had to her as a lady, never mind as a monster. Thanks. And that was the that was the appeal. Like, mm-hmm. you know, her just being a regular old Resident Evil monster is just eh. <coughs> But her yeah. being a lady, that's the important part. Like, you're in her castle, she knows the place inside and out, and she can chase you and is well within her rights to fucking turn you into paste for what you've done to her. Yes. Yeah, which is why I eh. Oh god, I kinda knew I was fucked when she grabbed me by the throat and slammed me through the floor. I was like, yeah, I killed her, <laughs> all three of her daughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yes. Very bad. Meanwhile, Let's see what this guy has to Oh sorry, you Yeah, meanwhile this Galadriel has no cards to play at all. And she's yeah. just again, just being a brat. Yeah, literally. I have a daughter. Who runs fast and a son who runs blind. Your eyes bear a striking resemblance to both. Where I run and how I run there are none of your concern. Anywhere is better than here, where I am hated by all who see me. So call to your guards or get out of my way. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just I'm kind of like cringe thing. more than I already have. Well, I'm gonna get speaking. wrinkles because of this bitch. Still I'm gonna actually get wrinkles because of you. I'm gonna. Can she pay for my skincare? Because what the fuck? You are so cringe. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh. It hurts me. Oh my god. Oh, it's not all of horrible. Still carved on statues throughout the city, if you look closely enough. Your Hall of Law, how far is that? Quarter day's ride. What is it you seek? Did you say ride? Well, she just gets things she doesn't deserve, and that bothers me so much. Yeah. And that was the thing with, um, again, this being set in prison. Like, there's a propriety to everything. Like, a proper way of doing things. Yeah. And it's not proper for her to be treated with any sort of respect, because she does not show respect to anyone else. Yeah, 100%. And they're just being <laughs> nice to her for the hell of- oh my god, her face. Okay, maybe maybe it was good that she wasn't smiling often, because dear god... <laughs> I don't mean to be mean. But god... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I... I can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no. my god, I just got one Make it stop! Those, those fucking shark teeth! Oh my god. Oh. I just. I'm sorry, I just. She. This episode 
is the worst. It <laughs> We're not even through so it, but there's just been too much Galadriel and not enough of our <laughs> Chad or Elliot, and so I am just dying. <laughs> I can't take this. <laughs> We're only 29 minutes in. We're almost 30, like halfway. Th- We're basically halfway through. And there's been just so much suffering, dude. <laughs> I hate it so much. Like, the thing is, why this bothers me is like, she was being such a bitch to him. And then suddenly, when he's like, oh, yeah, if you just, yeah, it's just like a day's ride to get there. She's just like, oh, did you say ride? Did no, you say ride? Get a horsey! Get a horsey! And then she's like, happy. And I'm like, you would just be a bitch. <laughs> Literally, like, I like, just, she just. Like, and now she's fine. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? I can't. She just dude. about faces. <laughs> She was literally threatening him with a fucking knife Not two seconds ago. ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's what bothers me. It's like, how are you happy right now? I'm getting so much whiplash. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, uh, oh my god, so my also, fucking She has head. no sideburns whatsoever. Really? Huh. Yeah, look. Uh, oh no, god, nothing. what the fuck? Yeah, sorry, that's what bothered me. I was like, there's something I missing. Never, yeah, she I has never no noticed. Yeah, she it's has no really sideburns. That's really weird. Yeah, that's, it looks, that's why I was like, why does it look so empty in front of her ear? Like, yeah, because there's meant to be hair there. Oh, man. Oh god, she does not smile good. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> in slow motion as well. Ooh. Isn't oh. he gonna get in trouble, our uh, second Chad? Probably. Uh, third Chad. You, there is not another man on this aisle that knows this craft better than I. I will shovel coal, if needs be. I'll splinter wood. I will shape the sea anchor for you, free of charge, sturdier than anything you have ever seen. How's that? I'm here to start a new. Lend me that chance, please. Oh, I won't forget it. You're a stout heart, lad. But until you've earned your guild quest, you can't forge steel in Numenor. Oh, the guilds. <coughs> the fucking guilds! Uh-huh. That's him, isn't it? Mm. Fellow who sailed in with the elf. It's you, isn't it? So yes, it appears man. that way. What are you called again? Depends. Depends on what. How close we are. <laughs> <laughs> He's clever. <laughs> <laughs> and how close are you and the she elf? Mm. You're on a lucky streak, low man. Free sail to our island, eating our food, drinking our ale. What will you take next? Our lands? Our trades? Don't forget your women. <laughs> <laughs> Clever bastard! Look at the mouth on him! Oh my god. Maybe he and the she elf aren't so close after all. Wager she'd prefer someone of better breeding. <laughs> uh. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You see, this is what a Chad does. Like, you're pissed off, but you don't show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't fucking show. Yeah. Here I am. I'm a guest on your island, and I haven't shown you the faintest bit of gratitude. How about this? Next few rounds on me. Hey! hey. What a lad! What a chat. <laughs> You're not oh so my... bad, Lou, man. <laughs> well, then I best make my retreat. Oh, you still got a warm opinion of me? <laughs> Men, <laughs> ladies, a nod! Oh, I love her. Oh my god. He's the best. Uh, this is what I mean. Yeah. Like, he's such a chad. And also, did you catch what he got? What did he get? Oh, he got a crisp. He can work now. <laughs> hey, Loma. Maybe. Uh oh. Really thought I wouldn't notice. 
Yeah, I forgot the Numenorians were chads. Well, I thought it was worth a try. <laughs> Take it. I don't want any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Bit late for that, isn't it? I believe it is. Yes. He's just an honest man trying to make an honest living. Please. Don't do this. No. Why not? Oh, Chad. No. No. See, this is what I mean when I say maybe this dude is Sauron, because this is a lot of strength for a human. Call me out yeah, right sure. Oh my god. Like, sorry. They started it first. They did! Is that the Mark of Sauron? Yeah. That is the Mark of Sauron. Okay, wait a minute. Why is there a bunch of scrolls here? Like, right? I swear Numenor was supposed to be really advanced. Shouldn't they have like? Oh wait, they got books. Oh yeah. Why do they have so many scrolls? Like, books are much better. The Hall of Law was assembled by Elros himself. Yeah. Uh, it is rather remarkable. Of course. Wait a minute. Didn't the hobbits have a book? How are the hobbits more advanced than the Numenorians? Sorry, I'm just distracted by by this bitch. I swear to God. Just like, she's like, oh wow, it's really amazing. You yeah. took me on a pony ride and now you take me to a library. I'm so happy. It's <sighs> like, while Star Chad is getting beaten up for wanting to like start a new man. I can't do that. I know, Kiwi. I know. <laughs> I'm so <sighs> upset. You knew Elros. An uncommon spirit. But I was always closer with his brother. Elros? Hey. Oh! Wait, he, so Thank Elros made this place? Oh, yeah, he, oh yeah, yeah. because he's kind his, of like... Um, El Elrond, I think was yeah. the name of our, our elf chad. Yes. And elf. his brother made this place. Oh, nice. Very mm, cool. Yeah. Thank our last king. And it's because of him this place wasn't torn down. He was loyal to the elves. Is loyal. We forced him from the throne for it. They say he spends his days in the tower now. An exile in his own kingdom. Oh. Oh, that's why we don't have a king. Yeah, that we explains it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't get over it. I like, literally was like, we need to have a strong, empowered queen woman. How do we do that? Well, I mean, to, to have a queen, the king needs to disappear. But the king of Numenor was never killed or assassinated, so how do we do that? Let's have him exiled. For like, some, <laughs> for keeping some elven shit, is that? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's fucking cheap, and you know it. Yeah. And I'm sorry, writers, but you did not earn the right to be cheap. Yeah. Like, hell, the, um, the Lord of the Rings movies did have some uh, inconsistencies with the books, but the thing yeah. is, they earned the right to have those overlooked. Yeah. Because the rest of it was so good. It's like, okay, mm. I can overlook this. Yes. I, I, yes, a scene was added here and there, and some were taken away, but it's fine. The rest of it is a really, really good. Yeah. <sighs> what is this? The account of a human spy retrieved from an enemy dungeon. He drew this, to recall the tower's location. Wait a moment. I must be blind. This is no sigil.
Wait, really? I was right? I was fucking right? <laughs> it is a map of the Southlands. It is as oh. Oren said. And the inscription? It is the Black Speech. Black Speech? I'll have you know those orcs are white. Thank you very much. <laughs> it speaks not only of a place, but a plan. A plan by which to create a realm of their own, where evil would not only endure, but thrive. A plan to be enacted in the event of Morgoth's defeat. By his successor. Galadriel? Matters are worse than I imagined. And the Southlands are in grave danger. If Sauron has indeed returned, the Southlands are but the beginning. You're really looking to that, hun. A little bit, yeah. Oh. What's going on here? What? Uh, oh, it's the Hobbitses. Oh, okay. Oh, right, they never told him about the wolves. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Come on. Wolfie, Nobody Wolfie. Nobody goes up train. Nobody walks alone. That's right. Nobody goes up train. And nobody walks huh? alone. Nobody goes up train. Come on. And nobody walks Why are they chanting? Nobody goes up train. Aren't you supposed and to be stealthy? Yeah. But it's nobody a festival. But still, but uh, I'm yeah. sorry. This is a festival, yeah. So why is this your chant? Yeah. But fucking Christ. Nobody walks alone. Nobody goes up train. And nobody walks alone. I. I don't know what they're trying to base these hobbits on. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Is that ancient Celtic mythology? Maybe no. The Celts were like this. Like... The Welsh? No, not the Welsh. Yeah, it's a copy of a copy essentially. Because like the hobbits were essentially the Shire. They were meant to represent the Shire in England, and these guys are trying to copy the hobbits. So they're like one degree removed from the original inspiration of them. Oh, it confuses me. We can't carry the cart without you. We're going to be left behind. No Brandyfoot what? has ever been left behind. Ow, oh, what is this? I thought I thought you guys said no one gets left behind and yeah. no one gets left alone. You, they were just I, trying. I guess I, uh, oh wait, they they because they're so primitive. Keep, they work on the same logic we work with horses on. So if well, if you have like a broken leg, well, it's time to get turned into glue. I'm oh. sorry. God, these hobbitses are not like hobbitses at all. Yeah. Because that was the thing with the hobbits. They, the Shire has this very big sense of community around it. Yeah. So you're not just gonna leave somebody behind. Like, yeah, it's, exactly. It's never gonna happen. You know, after I lost Rose, it was like the wheels broke out from under me. But then I saw you in the grass right in this clearing. Beautiful that day. <laughs> and in an instant, I knew I'd grow old with you, Marigold. <laughs> we'll make it to the grove. 
All of us? All of us. How? Do I see foreshadowing? I'll we'll stay at the front of the caravan. And we got Nori. No. Look, once that girl puts her head to something, nothing can stop her. Yeah, and she's put her head to something very dangerous. She's distracted by a man. Yeah. Lay one paw on that book and old saddle will use your height to make its next batch of pages. You got a better idea. The migration's tomorrow. If you want to help him find those stars, our best hope is in that book. I don't want to help him. Kill the He's fireflies. A giant with a brackish temper who sometimes murders fireflies. That was an accident. Now I say that the only sensible thing to do is top off his food, point him to the nearest human village, and fare thee well. Strength. That's not where he belongs. And where does he belong? That's what I'm I'm trying to find out. Why is it your problem? Yeah, what is your it's sticking your neck out for him any more than you already have? There's head sense, Poppy, and there's heart sense. There's common sense and nonsense. And if you're all out of the <laughs> I'm going to start yeah. using that. <laughs> yeah, there's common sense and nonsense. Yeah, yes. what you're saying is nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Then you can borrow some of mine. Rather throw some star charts out to that book instead. And you're going to help me. Or would you rather I let slip to Melva? It was you who put fireweed in her toe cream. Wow. Hmm? I'll keep watch. Wow, blackmail. Yeah. She again didn't answer the question why she's they... helping this guy. Yeah, because Sam and Frodo had a sense of duty. And... Yes. And was it Bilbo Baggins originally didn't want to go on an adventure, but he felt the call and yes. then went on an adventure. Mm. But what's her deal? Like, yeah, like, there's no... She's just doing it to be a nuisance. Yeah, like, this, is the, seems... this is the thing. Yeah, because we're not given a reason for this in, in the in the movies. We are given yeah. a reason for Sam and Frodo and for Bilbo Baggins. Yeah. It's like Bilbo wants to see the... the wants to go on an adventure and see the world. Yeah. Because and... it doesn't make sense because it seems very un inconvenient for her to be doing yeah, all of this. Yeah, just causing problems. Like, hell, yeah, the, exactly. the bad luck curse is a thing. So yeah. again, like in the beginning, we were given their motivation for it: mm. duty in one case, adventure in another. What is hers? I I, I still mean? don't know. We're like three episodes Same. in. I got no idea. Yeah, she doesn't answer why. Here is an idea: just steal the book and bring it to him. No time. She's gonna rip a page out. No. Oh, it was already ripped, so it's fine. I just have to fetch it from my car. Oh, good idea! You do that. Fetch it from your car. Rested legs and full carts. No, 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 no. Aha! Full carts and fuller bellies. <laughs> Mr. Burrows! What is it now? Oh no, it's just, um, everyone's waiting. <laughs> Are you all right? Yes, yes. Almost done. How much have you got left? Just a little left? Just tell them I'm almost ready. <laughs> right. No, yeah. I mean, left? Yes. No, I, I, I'll tell them right now. I'll go straight now. Calm yourself and get yourself some chestnut pie. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, that one. <clears throat> <laughs> That was very helpful. <laughs> very helpful. That friend good. is being too supportive. Yeah, way too supportive. Most agreeable. I feel like 
Yeah. I'll say it later. Yeah. Well, I, okay. Uh, yeah. No, I just mean like eh, the concept of friendships for these people is so bad. Yes. They think a friend should be someone that supports them even in bad decision making, and it's like that's not what a friend is. Come on, mate. We're just going to the crack house for a little bit. It'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fun. Get some crack. Yeah, it's just no. That's what I mean. Uh, it's like this is not a good friend. No. Because like the thing is, I would call her a pretty good friend in the sense of like. She does tell her reasonably, like, we shouldn't yeah, be helping this dude. we shouldn't do dude. this, but she's, like, sticking with her to make sure she doesn't completely fuck herself over. Yeah. Like, again, you could, you could have, like, a sense of wonderment with the, with the guy, I guess, because they're, they're yeah. hobbits or whatever. Yeah. But I just, I just don't get it. I, I no don't. reasoning still. There's a lot of reasoning for her to, like, look to... Look at her family and look after them. Like exactly, one hundred percent. But not with the stranger. I just don't. Yeah. I don't get it. I yeah, don't fucking same. get it. But... Another season has passed in this glade, leaving us with full carts and fuller bellies. Some fuller than most, if we're being honest about it. Mm -hmm. uh, Moon is very full, so be careful where you're having your shenanigans later on. <laughs> Mr. Stranger, I've got a surprise. We remember those from prior migrations who fell behind. Oh my god, really? And oh, should no. any half would fall behind this migration? They likewise will be carried with us in our hearts and in our memories. What? <laughs> Literally just leave you them to what? die. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you know, you're basically leaving them to die. We're like, yeah, it's in our hearts. They'll be torn apart by wolves, but they'll be in our hearts. Always. Yeah. So this I... is like... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say it. But this is like... Uh... You know, our, our government level of, uh, oh, oh, the NHS's work is so hard. We'll clap for them every Thursday. God, so, just... ma so many, like, doctors and nurses that, just, not the TikTok ones, the uh, the normal yeah. ones were just the cringing no whenever yeah. they saw that. Like, could you please not? Yeah, it's really cringe. So this is the level of same cringe that I'm having, where it's yeah. like, Oh, it's in our hearts. You guys are gonna die and suffer, but yeah. we're, you're in our Starvation hearts. Starvation like, if you're lucky, uh, wolves if you're not. <clears throat> I, I swear. believe they're just gonna leave them behind. Uh, uh, these uh, proto-hobbits are very cruel. Uh, it makes me yeah. wonder just why we don't see any of... Uh... God, I can't, I can't. That, that joke was made far too many times. It's, oh. it's funny, but still, I can't make it. <laughs> it's okay. So isn't she going to care about her parents? The yes, fact that she, they're being left behind? Life. I don't think she knows about the life yet. For them. Mm. But here, now, we welcome to our circle. Miles Brightapple. Stuck in the snows of the mountain pass. We, we wait for you. you. We wait. For, oh we fucking wait. left you to die yeah, we, in the mountains. Yeah. Like what? Like again, this is what I mean. Like these, these are not. Uh, God, Amazon couldn't get the hobbits, so they invented the Harfords to be like the proto hobbits or whatever. Yeah. But the, this is not what the hobbits are supposed to be like. They are yeah. heavily community oriented. They would. Yeah. They do not. Leave people behind. Exactly. That seems horrible. Like, why would they leave someone God behind and then be like, "We wait for you"? It's like, what? It's like th this is just some fucking cope, yeah. just to like not admit that. Yeah, we just left them to die because they couldn't keep walking. Is it? Like, Aren't you a bit long in the tooth, old man? How are yeah, you exactly. still keeping up with everyone? Exactly. Uh, you see, I, yeah, I just growing to hate all of these things. Chance proud fellow. Yarrow proud fellow. And they keep a fucking list of them too. It's just like, yeah, yeah these are the exactly. people we let die. We left behind. 
Yeah, because this I know they're trying to make it seem like, oh, this is like a graveyard that they carry with them all the time. Yeah, prob problem. Um, you you killed them. This yeah, isn't you a did. graveyard. This is your fucking murder yeah, journal. Exactly. Strap. Dewis. Lindsay Proudfellow. Oh, it's her whole family. Taken by landslide one rainy winter day. We wait for you. Man, oh, it's this... her whole friggin' family. Yeah. This society is so fucked up. This is so fucked up. This is so un-English. Like... Yeah. This is fucking... I am so uncomfortable. Yeah. This is so immoral. Oh. And the fact that the writers don't <sighs> see that this is, like, really... Bad? Bad, yeah. Really bad. Like, oh, but they're proto-hobbits. They have a different cult. No, if you're fucking making them proto-hobbits, they will follow the same damn culture as the Shires. And the Shires, before they were the Shires, were not like this. Yeah. Oh lord above. You can't make them happy go lucky but also not give a shit if you broke your leg. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah, like, of course they would look after them. They would give them a splint, carry them, or whatever. That's yeah. what hobbits would do, but not these exactly. ones. They'd just leave them on the side of the road. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll wait for you down the road. Like, what? But I can't catch up. Is that too bad? <laughs> Exactly. I I I I, I thought the orcs were bad enough. Now they're pissing on the side of good as well. And this is what yeah. this is just fan baiting again. Like yeah, you yeah. see these hobbits. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna piss all over them so you get angry yeah. and talk about our show. Mm. Oh, I'm talking about it. And I fucking hate it. I'm telling everyone I know to not watch it because it's dog shit. <sighs> <sighs> this is so painful. And Keep literally, the, just the argument of people who say, well, it's, it gives them a chance to try something new. It's like, no. 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 There is no room for anything new in The Lord of the Rings. It is all done. This is this yeah. horror food bullshit is horse shit. <laughs> I just, just. This offends me. Yeah, that's yeah. what it does. It offends me as an Englishman. It offends yeah. me. Grossly so. I'd like the state to clamp down on Amazon for showing this on streaming services. <laughs> At least, uh, Sauron, Sauron is getting his stuff now. Wolves. Wolves. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that one. I just look. Oh, I think no. I see him. No. Oh no, he's burning it. <laughs> That's the thing. He's surprisingly stealthy. Oh yeah, he is. Oh no, he's not planning it. He's looking at it. Oh! Oh! Mordor! Ah! Lovo Baljebuk. I I am so impressed that nobody is noticing. <laughs> Did they just laugh well, at someone's death? Somebody who died to bees. And they're just laughing at him. Like, don't get That's me wrong, it, it is very British to to laugh in the face of tragedy, but... My god, man, this is... This is, this is fucked up. Yeah, it is. Uh, you started off somber and are now going for, for humor. It is... Yeah. It's, it's very flippant. Yeah. We wait for you. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh no. No! No! Oh no, I guess. Oh no. They're gonna find him now. He was too Sauron-y for his own good. You fucked up. No way. 
Oh, that's incriminating. <laughs> what did he say? Nori. Oh no. You so know they Nori? All, and they're like, Nori, you know him. It's like, yeah. Well, we guess we're fucked now. She's just like, you're screwed. You have lied. You've stolen. Brought a dangerous outsider into our midst. And she lied. He already said that. <laughs> well, she did. But no, he was lost. Hurt. What was I supposed to do? Leave him there? <laughs> you must admit, Sadik. It's quite extraordinary. I, I, have you ever heard tell of beings falling from the stars? Prepare the beings who had turned into stars. Never the other way round. <laughs> it's very troubling. But what about the stars on that page? What's it say they mean? Nothing. No. The pages were all burnt up. Why didn't you bother to read them? We'd have time later. Who's we? No one. Just me. He's my friend. We don't need friends, girl. We need to survive. Without friends, what are we surviving for? Good little Harfoots. Stick to the path, flee every danger, heaven forbid. We explore something new for Eleanor, once. Calamark, Brandyfoot. Our way has kept us alive a thousand years. Our laws are clear. Actually, I think you'll find it's only kept you alive a couple months. That That's when yeah. Amazon came up with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any foot that breaks them is to be decaravaned. What? <laughs> What kind of community oh, is this? <laughs> this is some Soviet era shit right Are here. You... Yeah, they... She's a child. Yeah, they literally. Like, oh my god! I was thinking this... about this when they were when they were marching and chanting. It's like this looks like some fucking like Antifa rally here. It's yeah. like, what's going on here? But now, now it's just yeah. This is some fucking what? communist shit right here. Yes, I was about to say like, why? Is... So, you, might, you can't portray these people as happy-go-lucky and then also do this. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And also, what so, the fuck? Why I, are they so serious? Again, I, I, don't, I don't know if you've heard of, like, the skin suit and the progressive skin suit. This is the fucking skin suit in action, right? They're wearing yeah. the skin of hobbits, but yeah. they're not fucking hobbits. They're, they're the okay. writers trying to... Just hammer in their own fucking views. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but if you go against us, you leave. That, yeah. that, that's not the Hobbits. I don't care. For, for fuck's sake. There is nothing authentic about this show, and I hate it. All of it. Because mm -hmm. it's a lie to my. It's a spitting in my face at every point. And I hate mm -hmm. it. Uh, I can't believe they just said that. Oh my god, but it's, what's nice, I will say, is, well, she didn't br drag her friend into this one, she yeah. just took the blame. It's if anything, she's acting like a hobbit. Yeah, her whole... At least whole... she's, yeah. At least yeah, she's friend... acting like a hobbit. Exactly, her friend did lose her whole family, so this is the rest of her tribe, like, this is all she has, so, yeah. you know. If you want to, you know, keep digging your grave, you dig your grave your own. Yeah, respectable. Yeah. I like Galadriel. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I oh, fucking God. said that, but hey, here we are. <sighs> Indeed. But. Miss Brandyfoot is young, but there's much hair yeah. still to grow on her toes as sense between her ears. Tomorrow we depart as planned. And the Brandyfoot cart will be with us. At the back of the caravan. At the back. At the back. Wait, wait, wait a second no. now. It's that age. We have to talk about this. Now, do you mean the back of the back? Or do you mean, like, the middle of the back? I mean the back. You may as well have stamped our name in the book of the left behinds. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, this is okay. so fucking Soviet. Is, I hate it. Yeah, and also, you're her mom. Yeah. Why are you, 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 you're also treating your daughter like that? I, I, like it's... the dad at least, the dad at least has some punch. He was like, "Oh, you know, that was quite impressive. My daughter did that. Like she cared yeah. about someone." And then the mom's just like, "Yeah, you're dead to me too, daughter. You screwed us over." I, like, I'm what? willing to bet she's not her daughter, but she is his daughter. I think. I think. 
Well, my God, for, so you have an example of just dysfunctional fa like, communities, and these are meant to be like the proto hobbits. Yeah. yeah. No. Fucking no. Just no. You're wrong, Amazon. You're fucking wrong. Oh my I sweat. God. I was joking about like going in uh, as a as a fucking lore consultant, as like a Victorian teacher with a cane that I used to beat people with. But now I'm actually considering it. Yeah. Like, these people need a fucking lesson. <sighs> my God. And so when they say act, big gap. We're gonna have to see. We'll see what they mean. Oh, sorry, what? A big gap? Like, when they're saying they have to be at the back of the line. The back of the caravan. So, her father's plan was to be at the front of the caravan, so he controls the speed of it, so he can't yeah. be left behind. But, yeah. But uh, because of this, he's being put at the very back of the caravan, so if he falls behind, he's left behind. Yeah. By the homely Shire hobbits. Mm, all right. Fucking horse shit, I swear. Uh, <sighs> And again, it doesn't make sense that she did all this because she screwed her family again, over I, now. A sense of wonder I can understand yeah. from Hobbitses. Yes. They have that. They're, they're, yes. they're pure creatures. Innocent. I could get that. There was none of that. I mean, there was a mm. little bit of that, but she never it's committed to it. more stupid than anything, yeah. yeah. She never committed to it. Like, she could have yeah. said, like, oh, you, we don't know where he's from. We don't know uh, what he knows. He could be... Uh, a being from a, uh, from the stars, you could teach us so many things. Yeah, that would work. But there's nothing, literally, like, yeah. literally nothing. She just says he's important, so I want to stick with him. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh... Yeah. There's a reason he came to us. Honestly, Nori. Do you see a destiny in this? Do you think the stars reached down and touched you? Is that it? Do you think wow. you're special? You're just a child. I know I'm not special. I know I'm just one little Harfoot in a grand, wide world. But he is special. Okay. I can feel it. Okay, um. I don't My think you. Darling girl. <sighs> Ever has your heart been like your father's? But the tallest milkweed gets snipped. Oh my! Yo. <laughs> okay, so I... yeah, there's a thing called tall poppy syndrome. Yeah. And we definitely do have it in the UK, where you don't want to stand out too much because then you get like singled out. Mm. But it's yeah, not like true. this. Yeah. Like, it, it's not like saying, "Oh, your curiosity is bad." It's like, don't brag. Uh, it's, a, it's essentially a lesson in pride. Like, don't be overly prideful of yourself and brag yeah. to everyone around you. Yeah. Because, honestly, pe people don't care. And yeah. they have their own lives to live. And you're just making them feel bad. Yeah. Like, be, be proud of what you've accomplished, you know, with your close friends and family. Just yeah. Not, not random people in the street. Yeah. It's just fucking weird. Yeah, it is weird. It's time to pack. Can we bring the tall man with us? Can he pull the cart? I mean, I'm asking you a lot here, but it would be funny. Oh. And what have I, I done? He's like, oh no, I realize I'm turning trouble. You will die, Queen. Oh no, let me. Galadriel! The Galadriel! Wait, scourge of the Orcs! Never mind what she's the scourge of. Why is she in Numenor? I don't know. Waiting for a ship to Middle Earth. Queen Regents raised me to post captain. Keep account of her in the meantime. Oh, that's his son you and daughter. Mm -hmm. So Miriel promoted you. Who gets to escort her back? Looking for a promotion, cadet. Nine days until the sea trial. You ready? I'm afraid our north side relations have taken the liberty of inviting themselves over for a feast to see you off. Trust that's all right. I was thinking I might defer. Yeah, really? Defer? <coughs> Just for a season, perhaps? Did you know about this? Well, I listened to him on occasion, so yes, I had my suspicions. 
You made you him. You weren't telling me about them. I'm only thinking I about was it. talking to Aarion. <laughs> I've been carrying a bit on my own shoulders lately, Father. Is this really so tragic? Anarion told me you deferred twice. Anarion? What's your brother have to do with this? Nothing. Well, slightly more than nothing. Thanks. Oh, good gods. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what I told him. There is nothing for us on our western shores. The past is dead. We either move forward or we die with it. I know that probably hmm. means nothing. Not what I'm thinking anyway, but I've just heard it so many times from like the modern Hollywood media. Which is like them saying the past is dead and you should just leave it behind. Like in Star yeah. Wars and now in here. Yeah. It's just, it just feels like they're saying, yeah, forget everything that came before. Uh, focus only on what we're giving to you now. Mm. They forget the Lord of the Rings and all these plot inconsistencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rings of power. Focus on that. I'm mm. sure I'm just reading into this. I'm sure this yeah. is just me being paranoid again. Yeah. Right, if it's, if it's seeing too much of that. <laughs> and, and do you think it was easy? Convincing the sailmaster you were up to the task. I never asked you to do that. Yes, you did. When you got into a scrap with the Queen's guard. They started. All that. got thrown out of your horse train. That wasn't my fault. Actually, it feels right that one wasn't. I wasn't talking to you! Yikes. Pardon me, Captain. What? Message for your daughter, Aardian. <sighs> it's hard being a single father. Hmm. It really is. I know you've doubt some. But, but can you not trust that I have ever your best interests at heart? Yeah, but you shouldn't really put him the with Galadriel. of this world has a way of healing even the deepest of wounds. The way it's healed yours. Wow. Dick move! That's not how you talk to your dad. In nine days' time. When the sea trial begins and that ship launches, you will be on it. Father. What is it? I made apprentice. I've been accepted to the Builders Guild. How? Oh. I thought the guild never reconsidered. Isildur convinced me to reapply. Isildur convinced you? Cheeky beggar. Yeah. How fares the quest for peace? Better than expected. That's a, <laughs> this guy has the best cell in the whole prison. Yeah. I'll be dead looking at that site all day. What happened? Is this a punishment room? What Dispute happened? about a woman. Hellbrand. Don't start. You do not belong on this island. If there's one of us that doesn't belong here, Alf, it's you. I'm not so sure of that anymore. But of one thing I am now certain. You are more than you claim. I found this in the Hall of Law. That's funny. I found this on a dead man. Thought the pattern suited me. Many ages ago, a man bearing that mark united the scattered tribes of the Southlands under one banner. The very banner that might unite them again today against the evil that now seeks to claim their lands. Your lands, Halgrand. Oh. Your people have no king, for you are him. Uh, I had a feeling. It's an odd thing to say to a man in a cage. A cage you have landed in because you chafe under the rags of the common. And the armor that ought to rest upon your shoulders weighs upon your soul. Be careful, Alf. 
The heir to this mark is heir to more than just nobility. For it was his ancestor who swore a blood oath to Morgoth. I am not the hero you seek. For it was my family who lost the war. And it was mine who started it. Ours was no chance meeting. Not fate, nor destiny, nor any of the words men use to speak of the forces they lack the conviction to name. Oh my God. Ours was the work of something greater. It, you must see it. It I'm honestly sorry. is just, just the actress. Just, can you just, can you like say a sentence without being a bitch? Like that's. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh, it's not this. It's not that. It's not all the pathetic words, you human. Like the words okay, she's like... saying, I could almost see being diplomatic enough for this to work, but it's just delivered so badly. So badly, yeah. I hate it. I, I just... <sighs> Let's she keep going. Almost, almost can manage it. Some diplomacy, some statecraft, some charisma. All. Ugh, she just can't. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Oh, I see is an elf who won't put down her sword. Come with me to I mean, he makes a point. And together we will redeem both our bloodlines. How? You're stuck on this island. You're still short an army. That is all about to change. Yeah, some fucking how. Yeah, somehow. I'm just pissed that she's not the one in the ch in the cage right now. Yeah. And for fuck's sake. Like Halbrand here has been nothing but a gentleman, and he's in a cage. Meanwhile, she's been a bitch, and oh, look at where she is. Yeah. Fucking hate. That's an Elven Tower. Yeah, it's an Elven Tower. You just here, Father. The moment we feared. The elf has arrived. Oh, so they knew in a prophecy, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> so this is how you make things stealthy, I hear. Yeah, put a bunch of branches and twigs on it. Oh yes. Put the man with the broken back, broken leg there. Just give me a moment to get my breath under me. Is he in there? It'd be kind of funny if he was. Oh, he was! He is. <laughs> he was like, sorry, I came with you guys. He was getting a free ride that entire yeah, time. Yeah, this whole time. Oh, I like this oh guy. God. I like him a lot. Friend. This is, gonna... this is how we keep up with the others, all of us. He helps us and, and we help him. Can we, man? Can we bring him? Can we bring the big man? Those bastards go. Look at them. Yeah, they really are just a bunch of like cold-hearted bastards. Yeah, but they, don't they don't even care. stop a second. Yeah. Oh my god, they're horrible. They're like Galadriel level of like, oh, it's fine, yeah. just get it. Oh, up. now you hate oh. the fucking sun, you albino yeah. motherfucker. 
Oh my god. Uh, I'm so done with all of this. This episode has been so painful. Like, Model oh. Man here. I, I want him to just have better acting skills. I do, because he yeah. does. Like, everyone else around him can act better. Hell, even even the orcs act better than him. Yeah. And they're covered in fucking silicone and makeup. Yeah. Like, literally, all you need to do is... I, again, break the chains. It's, it's fairly easy if, you, if you're yeah, an elf. Yeah, you just you have axes with you as well. And yes, you're an elf. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got the superhuman strength. You can use it. And also, you don't need to worry about these fucking orcs because the second one of them comes out into the sun. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the reason like military helmets mm -hmm. um have don't go underneath the chin is so yeah. that um. You don't get choked, but these guys, they don't have any, like, strap underneath their yeah. chin to hold the helmet in place. So you just take the helmet off. Yeah, exactly. And then they'll be burning alive. Yeah, exactly. It, it won't even be slow, either. It'll be quick, too. It's just... Oh! Yeah! That elf bullshit. So why did they just think of that now? Yeah, why didn't they do this before? What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying! Yeah. Like, why did they just think of this now? And why the, didn't they do it the before they The orcs gave you that? fucking chains to work with! You could exactly. cut them, you could use them as, like, chains to drag them into it! I know. I... Like, why did they think of this so late? Plus, I'm also, so... you're missing a very important detail. The only thing separating the orcs and a very painful death is a thin tarp. Yeah. You, <sighs> they're not at. You're not at their mercy. They they yeah. are at yours. Exactly. Just... But I feel like the the writers keep doing this wrong. Like it's the same thing with Galadriel. She doesn't understand that she's at their mercy. Yeah. Same thing here. Yeah. Same shit. He's like, oh no. Oh, they're finally doing it. Put your, will, hoodies on, Put, your Put your hoodies on, Laz. Put your hoodies on. Put your hoodies on. Get your pajamas one, on. I don't know how Get the out. fuck they caught the elves, the, the elven garrison. Like, mm. impossible. But given the combat skill, mm -hmm. these orcs are dead. Yeah. Like, the, like, again, Galadriel is not meant to be a warrior. These elves are. So they're meant to be yes. good at fighting. And you saw exactly. that with the fucking chain. So they, yes. They're good at this shit. And orcs are... Not orcs rely on numbers and brute strength. Yes. And they're in a situation where numbers and brute strength mean nothing. Yeah. Because exactly. they're in a trench, they have only one place to go, and that's into death, the yeah. sun. Literally, yeah. orcs are at the worst possible position here. Urukai, different story. Orcs, they're fucked. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, now they're playing tug of war. There you go, son. Why didn't you think of that? Like, Again, could have done this earlier. Why didn't they do this stuff before? Literally, like, could have I done just... this earlier. Like, motherfucker. I, I know. Okay, so orcs are stronger, presumably, than elves, just because, you know, they've been beaten into this shape. And they used yeah. to, and they came from elves. So they lost the dexterity and the grace, but gained strength and brutality. Yeah. But still, they're, they're dumber. You can use that to your advantage. Yeah. And again, there's a reason it takes a bunch of orcs at night to kill the elves. Yeah. In the day, they are fucked. Like, literally, the orcs' greatest weakness is tactics. If they don't yeah. have somebody leading them, they will die. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, they are just a bunch of marauders at that point. Undisciplined, they will mm. break. In the daytime, they're fucked. 
Uh, li literally, just the sun will kill them. If there's even a little bit of a uh, um, in uh, insubordination, and orcs are cowardly, so they're they're yeah. disorganized. Just it it takes a force like Sauron or Saruman to keep them in line, and the second the second they don't have their eyes on them, they start to fight each other. Yeah. Uh, literally, the orcs and the Urukai just hate each other. And they hate themselves as well. Is it... Literally, the only reason they're still alive and not extinct is because there is a whip uh, being held by Sauron stopping yeah. them from doing it. Yeah. Because they will. Release the wild! Oh, uh -oh. is it time for my, my little boy? Uh-oh. The doggy. Puggles. It's Puggles! Oh my god, Puggles! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so fucking crazy! He looks so derpy! Why does he look so... <laughs> He's just a Puggles! <laughs> oh, he's fucking adorable. Oh, God. Oh, my Just God. I, I, are you just gonna let, this, let him get killed? Are you just gonna let them get killed? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I, are you? I'm gonna lose. Ah, Paco, she's hungry. was a lady puggles <laughs> did you see the teats yeah. oh no she probably mm. had some pups <laughs> oh now i'm sad <laughs> now i'm real sad <laughs> poor puggles and um, why do you have a moment like that just go oh god i oh, forgot boy. oh really oh for freak's sake really they're in the right. fucking sun again! Like, this just isn't explained at all. It's like, right, we sun. got him, lads! We got him! Yeah, and... <laughs> Sorry, the way he's turning around got me. Yeah. Get out of! It's alright, that actor was too good for this show. Like, I just want you to express more, man. Just some more... Like, you see the middle, like, the cl the inner part of your eyebrows? Could you move them up while keeping the outer parts down, please? I, if you could do that, please! Please! If it's so hard, just, just that! Uh. Alright, who the hell is this Adar fella? Who's keeping him on line? Please tell me why the hell you have these fucking white orcs. Again, they're wearing white. They're all wearing white. It's clean white too. It's just like a slightly yeah. dirty white. It's... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's all Got these albino white orcs. That are just bleached. It's just... 
Again, they, they hate white. They hate it! It is a symbol of good. They are mm -hmm. evil. It looks like a little elfy boy. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, it looked like Skrillex for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they have fucking Skrillex saving their asses, right? Uh, Let's see, what's at the end? Uh, nothing. Okay. So that overall, was episode three. Overall, I had the worst time. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the episodes, <laughs> this is number... It's like... Number one out of in the ten worst. Painful. <laughs> the worst because like we had none of like our chad um our number one chad oh. elliot and uh it was just horrible i hated this experience we got to see more of galadriel which was bad yeah we got we too much of galadriel and that was the problem yeah Yep, and then we had the fucking white orcs that are as white as the driven snow because they're clearly on the side of good. Oh wait, no, they're evil. How does this make any sense? It doesn't. Yeah, it it doesn't. makes no fucking sense. And then the Harfoots, and again, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, Harfoots, complete polar opposites of the Hobbits, yeah. which apparently, according to Amazon, they later become. So how the fuck do they change their culture that much? Exactly. I, I just... This show is not just bad, it's offensive. It's offensively bad. Like, they tried to be the exact opposite of what the show was. Yeah, Or just exactly. wearing, like, the skin suit of what- Like, aesthetically, this is Lord of the Rings. Yeah. But that's it. The second you scratch below the surface, you realize, Oh, hang on, this is just a massive polished turd. And somebody yeah. sold me. Uh... <sighs> Oh, God, at least we had was... at least we had Puggles. At yeah. least Puggles was there to make me happy. Yeah. Like probably the uh, like I feel like I enjoyed 1% of this episode and that 1% was when our number 2 Chad was being an absolute Chad. Yeah. Like in actually telling Galadriel everything that we're thinking. <laughs> Literally just like I'll handle this. I can do it. Galadriel doesn't listen, she gets him almost fucking killed, and he's like, hang on, I can, I can smooth things over. Yeah, and he manages it. He somehow manages everything, and literally just gets shat on by the writers later. It's like, give this guy a mm -hmm. win. Oh, but we can't, because he's like, the king of the Southlands. Yeah. So we need him to have an excuse to leave this place, so we'll just have him in prison. <sighs> For fuck's sake. I, I, I just... I... Pain. You know, the worst part is, we still haven't run into Eminem. Oh, isn't that Sauron? Probably. I don't fucking know. Uh, like, it makes I thought no that sense. one... I thought he was... Because people were going crazy about it. Oh, man. But he's, he looks like white as, like, snow. Like, yeah. he's, like, pale. Yeah, that's a, the thing with Sauron is he was described as being very fair skinned and oh, beautiful. Okay. So, yeah, yes. he can change his appearance. Oh, I see. That's yes, the thing yes. with Sauron, right? Okay. It, it is. He is very much in his element when he, he's in his black armor, but he doesn't okay. need to be. Like, I see. Yeah, hmm. Sauron is so powerful that he can just ignore the the problems with like wearing white or whatever, being in places that are so wholly good. Hmm. Okay. Cause, because because um, he's I don't know if he was born of evil. I think he was. I know the orcs definitely are, and they're like a bastardization of the elves, which is why good reacts so violently towards them like it's yeah they can't stand anything good like mm. the sun will kill them and again just why, why are they like even dancing in the sunlight after shooting the elf in the chest it's just like yeah huh huh 
But yeah, I would say overall the show is even worse than before. Right? Yeah. I, I was complaining that nothing was happening, but now that something has happened, I hate the show even more. Yeah. And we, did, we got no more of Durin. I miss Durin already. Yeah, and I miss Elliot. Uh, Elliot, I miss you so. But yeah, this... This show just garbage. Like it's it's trying to make me care for characters that we, on, on, honestly, it. I hate this way of storytelling that they do. They did it in The Witcher too, and I just thought it made the show lesser for it. Where they have a bunch of different story threads that they're showing yeah. piecemeal, yeah. but it just it seems more scatterbrained than anything. Because I don't get attached to any of the characters because while they're not memorable they're not written to be memorable and we're moving on to the another story another story yeah. thread when i was like maybe we can get something out of them so yeah oh, god i just yeah it's just like a bunch of random bits that's just so yeah and the happening. characters that they want us to like are just written so bad that it's infuriating yeah. And even when I turn my brain off and try not to think of Galadriel as Galadriel, I end up hating the character on her own merits. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, even though, like, you've explained to me how she's meant to be, and, of course, because, yeah, like, you know, okay, I've not read the books and stuff, just... so I can come from a perspective of, like, okay, let's just treat her like, you know, she's just... A fresh this character, is just how she's... completely new. Yeah, let's... so... Let's and I just zero. hate Go. her. Like, I'm constantly being like, can this woman shut up? Yeah, like... so... She's just a brat, and She's I, a maybe brat. they were later going to show that oh, she, she was going to temper with time, but they give no indication of that at all at any point. If anything, you just see her constantly flouting the rules, going against yeah. what people will, uh, people's wishes, getting people into trouble constantly, and just being so selfish and self-centered yeah. that there is not a speck of the original Galadriel in this one. Yeah. And it's just it's so jarring to see. Like, I fucking can't with this. It shows not giving me high hopes for the rest of it. Yeah, because that was just so... My head hurt. Oh my god. Uh, Galadriel is annoying, but like, in this episode... She was unbearable. Yeah. Like there's just too. There's like I feel like there's an amount of magic that I can take. <laughs> and, show and this was too, too much. much. Like this was <laughs> like I uh... can't. Like no paracetamol is gonna save me. From, like uh... the pain that I have in my brain. It's all right, Kiwi. <laughs> we can watch Edge Runners tomorrow, and that'll make it better. Wait, is the fourth episode out for this? The fourth episode is out. Okay, so, okay, they, the the rally thing is in that one, probably. I okay. swear to God, if it's a fucking Trump rally, I'm going to look at the writers with nothing but contempt. <laughs> that you could not resist, could you? Could they not? Can they cancel this? I... No, like, <laughs> I, look, I enjoy doing this, get me wrong, but my God. The show just... itself? Yeah, I wish they the would cancel it. The show itself is so painful. Like, like it's just too much. You know, like, yeah, like oh it's God. it's like yeah. okay. So Amazon wanted it to be their property, Lord of the Rings. They wanted to stamp their logo on it. But it's like yeah. getting an an organ from somebody else. Yeah. But your body's just rejecting it completely. <laughs> like, get oh, yeah. this out. I don't want this. <laughs> it's like exactly. that. Like the, we get a huge like. Uh, series rejection from this thing. Oh, one hundred percent. Like, look, I've watched a lot of bad shit, right? But like, you can like deal with it, and you're like, okay, whatever. Like, I've never watched something so bad that it gives me a headache. Yeah. Like, fucking Life is Strange never gave me a headache. Yeah. And I ran about that shit all the time. But it's cringe enough for you to complain. Yeah. But it's good enough for you to be like, well, it's not painful it's enjoyable you can it's get still... through it it has yeah, good you can bits. get through it you yeah it has good it. bits whereas this is just like this episode was just not it has not it. one good bit and that's durin and elrond yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, and that was in the second episode, so, like, that that was a lot more... Like, the first episode was, in, like, endurable. The second episode was a lot more easier because of, like, the whole dwarf thing. This was... This episode was, like, unbearable. Physical pain. Yeah. It's just like, wow. Like, <laughs> like, this episode makes me not want to... If, if the next five seasons are like this episode, I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> like, I can't. <sighs> if you're telling me that I have to go through, like, five seasons of what the fuck this episode was, like, fuck that, dude. <laughs> like, oh. even if they have the dwarf stuff sprinkled in, this was just actually so painful. Like, if they had Durin and Elias sprinkled in between these things, like, between the episodes, I'd be okay. But because there was just so much Galadriel, and she's clearly one of the main characters, I just... Yeah. Oh my god. Is, is it any surprise that there are rumors they're gonna replace the actress? Yeah. The season one, no, because they already shot it, but maybe season two will get a different actress. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe they'll put some fucking beards on the dwarves then, that'd be oh, great. No. Maybe the elves will get longer hair too, that'd be great. Yeah. Maybe the orcs just... will finally be like brown, <laughs> yellow, and sickly green like they should be. I can't believe they made them white, it's so weird. Uh, don't you see? Really the white bizarre. people are the orcs like... and they're bad. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, like, that's why I said that as a joke, but I think they actually mean it. Yeah, bro, that's fucking racist, don't you know? Like, yeah. really racist. Yeah. I just, oh my, this one, this one was genuinely painful. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep. Yeah, and try thank to you everybody for watching. Shit. I hope you at least enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. They probably enjoyed our pain and how much bitchy we did. Oh, By my God. estimates, this has been, what, two hours 30? <laughs> yeah, no, because there was so much that you're just like, what is wrong with you? Anyway, <sighs> stop it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, everybody, you everybody, and goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.